Hi there and good evening. I'm Elizabeth Nareka. We begin with an overwhelming show of respect and sorrow as hundreds, including law enforcement officers from across the country and even Canada, honored the memory of a local state trooper. Fox 8's Dave Nethers was there as trooper Kenny Velez was laid to rest. How sweet it is. The Indians finished off the Red Sox last night and now it's on to the ALCS where they'll rally together against the Blue Jays. The Indians are just four wins away from their first trip to the World Series in almost 20 years. Welcome to Fox 8 News at 7 o'clock. I'm Elizabeth Nureka. But Friday night, most of us will have to rally together around a TV because as Fox 8's Maya Belay learned, tickets to all four ALCS games in Cleveland sold out in minutes. So Trump went on to say he plans to stay the course and that he doesn't plan to do anything different, saying what both men and women want is not to see Clinton in the White House. Hillary Clinton, by the way, was busy today as well, campaigning alongside Al Gore in Florida, Lou. Much to uh, chew on again tonight. The election getting closer all the time, less than a month away. That's right, and things will just continue to heat up, too. I think so. Thanks, mm -hmm. Elizabeth. Hi there and welcome back. A gorgeous day out there today, a little cooler, but the bugs are coming in full force. I saw you take this video Goodness of the muckleheads in our parking lot. Yeah, I was, I was attacked you. by a <laughs> hive of muckleheads. Melissa, that yeah, we don't do this often, but yeah. uh, that is deserving of applause. I cannot get over how cute <laughs> those kids are. We want to thank the students from Alfred A. Banish Elementary for helping us get into the spirit. What a wonderful job they did. Cute scale normally goes up to 10. They were an 11. They were Off uh, the charts. fantastic, <laughs> and we didn't need any help with them, but they yeah. were just fantastic. Melissa Reed, by the way, is live in the middle. Well, if you got a chance to head outside today, you might have noticed a little cooler weather out there, more fall-like temperatures in the air, and maybe even some rain too. Let's check in with Melissa Myers for a look at our forecast. Hey, Melissa. Oh, hello, Liz and Dad. News. <laughs> we get the best of everything. Oh, you. We oh, have nice. one of these chairs. Oh, that's Let's cool. heading on down 90, making my way downtown. Oh, look yeah, somebody's Ranch tailgating song. you there. I oh, hate my those God. Hey, buddy. I know. He needs to lay off a little bit. I get a little road ragey sometimes. But yeah, you know, drive smooth. Get some suntan while you're heading down the nice road. Ride there, what do you Elizabeth? do as a turn signal, yeah. Elizabeth? Yeah, that's all you need. That <laughs> works go for like me. This. You I know, like kind of like the bikers do. <laughs> Turning left. Oh, look, this guy's coming up on my. Is it my left? My yeah, right? The, yeah. I tell oh, you. here he comes. All right. Yeah, I think we're on to something there. <laughs> it's very smooth, very smooth ride, and it's a lot cheaper too than having to fill up a whole car. Yeah. That's so true. And for some reason, her hair's not blowing. I mean, it's no, very not nice. At all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's funny. Thanks, Elizabeth. Uh huh. Always well, about. All right, Maya, thank you. In the ninth inning, Cody Allen made Tribe fans sweat, but after the final out, the players got soaking wet as they celebrated the sweep by popping bottles and spraying champagne. PJ Ziegler knows what it's like to be inside a winning locker room and joins us now with that video. PJ? It's like a uh, party at Naples, if you will, when they uh, spray them. This time, his guest is current Democratic presidential nominee, Hillary Clinton. But if you've never seen the show before, his questions are unique, to say the least. Maybe there you if you see something, say something, Suzanne. Thank you. Also tonight, police are saying they have arrested the suspect wanted for the assault and abduction of a nine year old girl in Maslin. 46 year old Dennis Menifee is facing a number of charges. The little girl was walking home Monday afternoon when the suspect pulled up next to her, claiming to be an officer. Police say Menifee then told the girl she had been reported missing and needed to come with him. The child was forced into the vehicle and taken to a nearby parking lot where she was sexually assaulted and beaten before she was released. Someone called police after recognizing the suspect's vehicle in a picture released by police. The victim confirmed the suspect's identity and vehicle. Menifee was arrested on first degree rape charges, kidnapping and aggravated menacing. And sure. such a disregard for other people in that area. You have these narrow streets and for people to just be illegally street racing down there. I mean, anybody else could have been hurt too. That's a very, very busy street. Wet. Yeah, it certainly will be, Tracy and Lou. Officials in coastal states are saying their number one role, their number one role for the next 48 hours is to protect life and property in that order. Already, Florida seeing signs of that strong hurricane closing in. To this area. And some of the people living in that area right now might not realize just how serious this warning is if they haven't gone through a hurricane of this magnitude before. And these warnings need to be taken very seriously.
<laughs> wow, what a day it was. Vivian's mom says, by the way, her daughter is doing very well. Now she does get tired sometimes, but she's every bit an active four-year-old, and she turns five this coming Wednesday. So, of course, we're wishing that little sweetheart a happy early birthday. Yeah, smiled <laughs> a lot today, and that's great. Well, TV shop. Uh, we'll see what happens. What was the most watched debate in American history? Well over 80 million people tuned in to see Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump face off. Uh, it was a little bug, though, that created a lot of the buzz. A fly so as Jennifer was just talking about, fallout continues over those crude comments about women made by Donald Trump more than a decade ago during a 2005 taping for Access Hollywood. Several prominent Republicans are speaking out against the candidates' remarks, and some are even withdrawing their support. Fox 8 News reporter Matt Wright live now with how Ohio Republicans are responding. Matt? 